What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another random general message for the Collective. Hopefully everyone is doing well, feeling blessed, and highly favored. Holy Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. So uh, we're going to get into the cards. We're going to see, you know, if there's any updates or progress on our current situations, anything we don't see coming, uh, anything Spirit might want us to know at this time. Uh, I'm going to pull from the Cosmic Insights and then clarify with the uh, Kipper-ish, and then we'll go from there. But uh, hopefully everyone's doing well. You guys, If you guys are working, you're not working too hard. Let's get into it. Health. Health issues could arise. Someone else. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Spy. Someone's got their eye on you. <laughs> you are doing your research. Pets. Getting a new pet. Giving a current pet more love. And moving. Change of residence. Moving in with your partner. Okay, so from the Cosmic Insights, we have health. You know, health issues could arise. Someone else is in the middle trying to sabotage this. Spy, someone's got their eye on you. Pets, you could be getting a new pet. Somebody could be getting a new pet. And moving. Change of residence, moving in with your partner. So, uh, you know, this is like, <laughs> this has been coming out in like current energy, you know? So, um, you know, a lot of you are moving. A lot of you have moved into new homes. Maybe you moved in with your person, you know? Maybe you guys are, you know, <laughs> you know, moving in together. Um, first one out is health. Health issues could arise. You know, this could be pertaining to you or this could be pertaining to somebody else in the mix. Um, health. The veil, reverse. Karmic masculine. Real love, reverse. I think we should take that one or not. Oh, expectation, reverse. Gift, reverse. So under, you know, the health card, we have uh, the veil reverse followed by karmic masculine. So I feel like, you know, this karmic masculine, this person could be, they're seeing something clearly. You know, the veil has been lifted. They're seeing through like the smoke in the mirrors. Uh, this person could have a health issue arise or this person could be currently, you know, dealing with a health issue of some sort. You know, whatever uh, situation they've been in, which we've seen this, this has been coming out. Real love reversed. There was no real love in that situation, in that connection, whatever, wherever they went. You know, um, I feel like this person either isn't expecting or they weren't, they were not expecting to lose a gift. If this person was spiritually gifted, you know, they could have lost their spiritual gift. You know, if they were with, you know, you and say you were a gift. You know, you were the gifted one or like you were like, you know, a star seed, a chosen one, like you were the gift. They lost you. They weren't expecting to lose you. I get the energy of somebody who thought that like maybe they could just go around, you know, frolic around with karmic energies and that you would always be there waiting for them. And that's not what's. Yeah, we all, we, we, we weren't going to do that. That's not what we were doing. So uh, this person wasn't expecting to lose a gift. Oh, what was the gift? What's going on here? Gift, expectation, reverse, gift, reverse. Faith. False narrative. I feel like this one to come out in reverse. Oh, evil eye. Yeah, see, we got these same, man. This is the same cards from yesterday. Same cards from yesterday. So somebody, yeah, this person was not expecting to lose a gift. You know, uh, faith in the upright. You know, a lot of you, you carry that faith. You've been faithful the entire time. There's been a false narrative, some lies that were told probably about you and your faith, you know, that have been ex exposed, they've been revealed for the lies that they are. And of course, somebody hating, sending evil eye. Of course, your ancestors have been on it. This came out of my reading yesterday. 
you know, and I did pre-shuffle. I shuffled really good. So, um, someone else, someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So, of course, you know, there's another energy. There always has been. More than likely, this is an energy that the karmic masculine allowed into this whole equation. Because collective, you didn't allow a third party in. You know what I'm saying? You didn't allow someone else to, you know, insert themselves in your situation. It was a karmic that did that. Uh, someone else. Self-love. Healer, reverse. Boss. Mature man, reverse. Voodoo. Go figure. <laughs> So there's someone else. Someone else is trying to sabotage this. I feel like there's somebody that's focused on self-love. Somebody sh needs to be focused on self-love. Somebody could be focused on self-love after losing a healer. This person could have been with the healer. Could have, you know, been in, you know, connection to a healer. And they've lost that. They lost the healer. Um, This energy, you know, boss in the upright... This is somebody that could be a leader, somebody that could be a boss, you know, somebody in charge of something, um, you know, the leader of a group, somebody successful. I feel like this energy is distorted, you know, mature man reverses, emperor, reverse energy, uh, could be a father figure, could be a boss figure, uh, could be your DM. You know, this person was, you know, doing some, some type of voodoo. Some type of, you know, dark energy work, you know, could have been trying to manipulate some energy. They could be working with voodoo dolls, you know, every so often you might feel like a prick and you, you know, your left, your left leg, your right leg, your shoulder, you know, something that was, well, I'm not even going to speak on it. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> but you know, you might be feeling like some weird stuff like happening, you know, and it's come to my attention. Give me just a second. Hold on just a second. Y'all moved in? I did. All right, good deal. We got y'all moved in. You got yeah. any questions? Oh, uh, no. Well, how do I get a mail key? Uh, you go to the post office. And they'll give it to me there? Yep. Just take the lease agreement up yep. there? Okay. Yep. I'm Kevin. All right. right. I'm Eric. I own the place and I manage it. Nice to meet you. Okay, if you got any questions, let me know. Okay, thank you. Later. So, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. That was, uh, but yeah, y'all heard it. So, <laughs> anyway, um, where was I at? Yeah, you might be feeling like some weird stuff. You know, you might feel like a little prick or a little poke or, you know, something might get hot for a second. You know, you're not losing your mind. A lot of these people wanted you to think that you were losing your mind. They wanted you to think that you were, you know out of it you weren't seeing things uh right you know something was wrong um with you and there's nothing wrong with you a lot of times there's people you know altering your energy you know they're they sit around with a little doll just like that you know poking needles in it you know dropping it in boiling water whatever the case these people have way too much time on their hands it's disgusting it's really sad it is really, really sad. So, yeah, there's someone else trying to sabotage this. You know, maybe trying to sabotage what you got going on. You know, this person's a sore loser because they've already lost the healer. You've already lost the healer. Healer's out of there. You know? This person's a sore loser sitting somewhere with a voodoo doll. What's up with this voodoo? What's going on? Because, what, yesterday it was like a whole group, wasn't it? A little community of folks. Poverty reverse. Health concern reverse. Divine Feminine, reverse. Moving on, reverse. Yeah. So this is like a karmic film. This is that other person. You know, Divine Feminine, reverse. This is like that other, the other energy. The person in the middle trying to sabotage this. I feel like this person's mad. They've, they've been doing voodoo, right? Been doing voodoo to keep you from moving on, you know? Been doing voodoo to keep you from getting out of poverty. They wanted you to stay in poverty. You know, been doing voodoo to have you in bad health. Health concern reverse. You're not in bad health. Poverty reverse. You're not in poverty. You know, like, I mean, they just, it's, it's ridiculous. This, this energy that's been wanting this for you, this is a divine feminine reverse. You know, your doppelganger, your copycat, your wannabe. 
Person want to be you so bad, but they could never, can't hold a candle to you. All they can do is sit around with a voodoo doll trying to make you uncomfortable. That's about it. Coward. Uh, spy. Someone got their eye on you. You are doing your research. You could be doing your research. Or, you know, maybe one of these freaking weirdos, these weirdos here. Maybe somebody's like watching you, you know, spying on you, all in your business because they have none of their own. Uh, spy. Abandonment. Watching you walk away. <laughs> A rising star, reverse. A north note. Pathway reverse. What's going on here? Because this is just all over the place. Death magic. This has got to be some karmic energy. Got to be. <sighs> so, yeah, we got spy here. There's somebody you know spying, watching, all up in the Kool Aid. Don't know the flavor. Uh, this person could have abandonment issues. You know, they could have abandonment issues. It's currently somebody taking a, a fall. You know, rising star in reverse. This is somebody taking a fall. You know, from uh, it could be a fall from grace. You know, if this was somebody that was famous or you know had some type of you know notoriety, some type of fall or some type of following. You know, maybe they're losing steam. You know, maybe people are not, you know, following this person anymore. They don't, you know, this is like a bad energy to follow. And we have North Node, Pathway Reverse, and Death Magic. So, this is somebody that wanted to end something for you. This is somebody that wanted to end something for you. You know, a lot of you are in your North Node. You're on your pathway, you know. You're, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You know, you've been uh, catching signs and synchronicities. You're listening uh, to your guides. Somebody wanted to end this for you. They really wanted to end this for you. And I feel like, you know, these are cowards. These are people that aren't going to, you know, come up to you and say anything to you face to face. They don't have the ball. They don't have the courage. Don't have the, you know, like seriously, do not have the backbone to do that. So what they want to do is they do a bunch of shit, you know, in secret. They do a bunch of energy manipulation. And then they spy on you to see if it's working. Is it working? Is it working? Are we affecting the collective? That's what they do. But yeah, this is somebody who, you know, clearly saw you, you know, in your North Node, on your pathway, and they wanted to end that for you. They really wanted to bring it into that for you. How about not? Not gonna happen. Uh, death Magic Reverse, let me see. What, or Death Magic Upright. What else we got going on here? Yeah, I cannot make this up. Jealous and envious, a hater. Just sour face, screw face. So they're living their own life. They're so focused on you. Chakras in reverse. Chakras all blocked. All out of alignment, you know? Divine masculine, yeah, they didn't suckered your masculine into it too. Or this is a karmic masculine, this ain't your person. Ice King. This divine masculine reverse, who is also, you know, king of swords energy. Cold, calculated, cruel, you know, uh, emotionally cold. Uh, next we have pets. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. Maybe you, uh, a lot of you might've moved. We got moving and pets, you know? And these two, like these hit right on the head for me. Um, you know, maybe you got a new pet. Maybe... You change your residence. Maybe you just moved. Maybe you moved into a new place and now you want a new pet because you have more space. Um, I don't know. Pets, what's pet? I'm getting a new pet. What is this? Blocked? What's going on here? What's going on here? Jezebel. <laughs> oh goodness. Occupation. Unbothered reverse. Opposition reverse. I think we talking about somebody that's like a pet. There's a Jezebel energy that's been blocked from your energy. <laughs> blocked, Jezebel. This is, you know, this is a whore. You know, <laughs> this is a lady of the night. This is a sidewalk Sally, a backdoor Betty. Uh, this person's been blocked from your energy, maybe. They're mad because you have a job. Your occupation is still intact. You're doing your thing. So this person is extra triggered. 
That's what I get. Somebody is extra triggered because you are, you have an occupation. You do what you do. Maybe you're really good at it and they can't oppose you. Opposition reverse. They want to oppose you so bad. They want to be, you know, 818 could be significant. And I'm seeing that because I see these numbers like right next to each other. 818, I've been seeing that too. 818 could be significant. 8 or 81, 34. Um... But yeah, this person wanted to be, uh, you know, a hindrance. They wanted to be a block, you know, a blockage for you so bad. Wanted to be opposition for you. And they can't. Whatever you're doing, like you're well in your groove. You know, this is what you're supposed to be doing. And this person is so triggered by that. So triggered because, you you know, all your shit is still intact. Like, ma'am, it's just like, ma'am, go find a corner. Go find the nearest corner to work. Okay, like, yeah, move. <laughs> Sir, ma'am, creature. Uh, moving. Change of residence, moving in with your partner. You know, some of y'all might be moving in with your boo. And maybe, <laughs> maybe you and your boo just got a new spot. Um, maybe you got a spot alone. You know, maybe you're changing your residence. Maybe you're going from one place to another. Uh, maybe you're just moving on. Moving on from, you know, bullshit situations that no longer serve you. Moving. Rich guy reverse. Maybe this person has to move. Or maybe you're moving away from this clown. Uh, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> Divinity reverse. What is going on here? Travel. That's moving, yeah. Priestess. Baby, what's up, boo? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, a lot of you are moving. A lot of you are moving on. You're moving into new places. You know, I feel like under this moving, you know, you're moving away from a king of pentacles in reverse energy, rich guy reverse energy, somebody superficial, materialistic, you know, uh, way too concerned with money, material gain. I feel like you're moving away from this energy because you're a sweetheart, you know, uh, queen of cups energy in the upright. Uh, what's up, boo? Hi, love. Uh, you know, sweetheart, queen of cups energy. This is like the bee's knees for me. This is my fave. Uh, but you're moving away from somebody because maybe you're realizing that they're not divine. You know, you're realizing that this joker is not, you know, that's not somebody that you need to be meshing with or mixing with, you know? So, uh, you're moving on, travel, moving, moving right on along. Like, yeah, the dude says we're out of here. Goodbye. Both of these cards represent the same thing to me. 10, 10 can be significant. Tens represent uh, completion, you know? Um, you're in your high priestess energy. So whatever decision you're making, whatever you decided to do, you know, you did it, you've done it tapped in. You've done it, you know, you've received divine guidance, you know, inner guidance, you have an inner knowing, you know, um, you've done this, you know, using your best, you know, your best judgment. Go on here, go on here, pull. Uh, we're gonna jump into the spread. <laughs> I wanted to keep this one kind of short. Um, yeah. That cosmic, the cosmic insight deck is like a little bit different. It's, uh, sometimes it throws me off. But, uh, tarot deck, we're just gonna, you know, jump in. All right. Let's get into it. Two of Pentacles. The Papas. That's uh, the High Priestess. Hey, hey. We just had you come out of the other deck. The Hermit, reverse. And the Queen of Pentacles, reverse. And the Seven of Wands. So we have the Two of Pentacles, the Papas, which is the High Priestess, the Hermit, reverse, the Queen of Pentacles, reverse, and the Seven of Wands. Uh, first one out is the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, excuse me. This could uh, this talks about balance. This could be someone wanting to balance finances, wanting to uh, balance something else. Uh, it could also talk about you know juggling, juggling two different people, juggling two different things, juggling finances. Uh, two of Pentacles. The Emperor. The Page of Wands. The Ace of Cups reverse. The Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Cups reverse. 
Okay. So there's somebody that is about to balance something out. They're going to balance something out. They have to balance something out. Um, they don't have a choice, I feel like. This person is an emperor energy. This could be a father. This could be a boss. This could be your DM. In the upright, you know, this is an upstanding masculine energy. This is a leader. You know, somebody that takes the lead, not afraid to take the lead, uh, not afraid to take action. I feel like this person has to balance something out. Or they're choosing to balance something out, make it make something right. Um, this is going to come as good news to somebody. This emperor balancing something out is page of wands. It's a good news. It's exciting news, you know, for somebody. More than likely you. This could be information coming towards you. Uh, the Ace of Cups reverse. I feel like, you know, whether this is your father, if this is your father figure, you know, y'all don't really have a loving relationship. You know, this person could have did some bullshit to you that wasn't very loving. Maybe not very father-like. Um, if this is your DM, you know, you guys are not, there's not mutual love in that relationship. You know, this person could have screwed off, you know, really did some bad things to you. You know, if this is a boss figure, you know, y'all don't like each other. Y'all don't care for each other. There's not mutual love, mutual respect, none of that stuff there. However, there's something coming towards you. You know, they could have slowed something down for you. Knight of Pentacles, you know, this is a solid offer. Uh, Pentacles relate to money. You know, this is a slow moving energy. So if this was something coming towards you, it was coming in very, very slowly. And it could have been coming in slowly because someone was holding it up. Someone was slowing it up. Page of Cups reversed. They don't feel bad about it. That's what I feel. I feel like, you know, there's something. Something's about to be made fair. Something's about to be balanced out. It's going to come as good news to you. But this is something that was slowed up. Maybe should have came to you a long time ago. Whoever was slowing it up, more than likely this emperor energy, they don't feel bad about it. They have no remorse. They don't want to apologize. None of that. They don't care. They don't feel bad about slowing it up for you. That's what they wanted to do. Uh, page of Cups reverse. What else here? Uh, the Magician oh, and the Four of Wands. The Magician Reverse and the Four of Wands. Like I said, this is somebody that was slowing this up. They were trying to hold up the process, hold up the situation. You know, they felt like they were they were God and they could do that. You know, they could affect you, you know, or slow up. Like they had the full say of, you know, what comes to you and what doesn't. Like I said, if this is your father, it's a clown. It's a bozo. Uh, if this was your boss, it's a clown. It's a bozo. If this is your DM, it's a clown. It's a whole bozo. They did black magic. The magician reversed four of wands. They wanted to do black magic to try to affect your stability. Like I said, say this has something to do with an inheritance. They wanted to say that you were mentally unstable and they wanted to make you appear that way. So they did black magic or paid, you know, voodoo high priestesses to do black magic to affect your uh, your stability. Maybe your, your mental stability as well, your foundation. It wanted to affect that. So that way, you know, it, cause it would substantiate the bullshit lies that they were going in court and telling on you. What a clown. Bozo. Straight, straight clown. Like I said, if it's your father, your DM, or your boss, or whatever, this is a clown. Clown ass. Uh, the Papas, I feel like this is your energy. You know, High Priestess energy tapped in. You know, you saw through the bullshit the whole time. Uh, the Papas. Six of Wands, baby. Victory is yours. Six of Wands. This talks about victory, success, public acclaim, accolades. You know, uh, it's yours. Nine of Wands reverse. Strength. Baby. Baby. The Empress. Come through. Man, come, come through. Come through. Try to plan with him. Let him know, Empress. Uh, three of Wands. <laughs> Baby. And I happen to flip over. The Sun. We got a lot of Leo energy. A lot of Leo energy between the strength and the sun right here. A lot of Leo energy. Uh, you could be any sign, though. But like I said, you know, High Priest just tapped in. We had you come out of the Kipper Ish deck as well. Um, this situation is going to result in a victory for you. You know, like I said, I feel like, you know, something's being balanced out, but it, somebody's being forced to balance it out because this clown over here, they probably wouldn't have balanced it out if they had it their way. 
They would have left you hanging. Because that's what clowns do. Uh, but yeah, uh, the high priestess, six of wands, it's going to be a victory for you. The nine of wands reversed, this is you coming out of a nightmare. You know, maybe there were sleepless nights. Maybe there was a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. You're coming out of that energy, you know, following this win, this victory. You're coming out of that energy of stress, depression, whatever the case. Why? Beloved, because you were strong enough to do so. You were strong enough to persevere, strong enough to push through. Empress, all four queens in one. Man or woman, all four queens in one. You were strong enough to push through. That's why you're coming out of this nightmare. That's why you're winning. You're about to get a really big victory. A lot of you could know this. High priestess, you know, you're tapped in. You catch the signs and synchronicities. You know what's coming towards you. You've been waiting on your ships to sail in. Three of Wands. Waiting for those ships to sail in. You know what? You know what's yours. You know what you got coming. Uh, the Hermit Reverse. This could talk about, you know, somebody failing to heal. Somebody uh, not healing or, or needing to heal. Uh, this could talk about something being undiscovered. Something not being discovered yet. The Hermit Reverse. The Eight of Pentacles Reverse. And the Six of Pentacles Reverse. The Ace of Swords reverse and the Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is all bad. Whoever this is unhealed, it's just all bad. It's just not looking. Woo! The Ten of Swords, baby. Whoever this is unhealed, baby, it's all bad for them. It's all bad for them. They better heal. The Hermit reverse, like I said, somebody that's unhealed, you know, maybe not wanting to heal, not going inward, not doing the work. Eight of Pentacles, this is somebody who could be without work. They might have lost a job. They might have lost a source of income. They don't have work right now because they wanted to steal. They wanted to take something. They lost a job because they wanted to take something. Like, say this work. Oh, man. Don't, I'm not even going to go there. Say this person had a job. And they stole from the job. This is what I get. Somebody had a job and they stole from the job. So now they don't have the job. They could have told lies. Ace of Swords reverse. No truth, no clarity. They could have told a bunch of bogus ass lies at the same job and stole from that job. Now they don't have the job. Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is a huge financial loss for this person. Ten of Swords reverse. It's a painful permanent ending. A painful permanent ending that they cannot escape. They're not getting out of this. They're going to lose money. Because they were, they, they, they were not truthful. They told a whole bunch of lies. You know, they stole. And now they don't have any work because of it. Losing money. Look at all these pinnacles reversed. Ace of pinnacles reversed. Six of pinnacles reversed. Ten of, or uh, eight of pinnacles reversed. So it's a lot of loss. A whole lot of pinnacles in reverse. And yeah, that's a painful permanent ending. That they can't get out of. They're not getting out of this. Maybe they wanted this for you. Maybe they wanted a painful permanent ending for you. All that fucking spell work that they wanted to send your way. All the lies they wanted to tell to the rest of your family. Clown. Uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is a feminine energy. It could be a man or a woman. Um, this person is a gold digger. Superficial, materialistic, overly concerned with money. This might be your auntie. Might be uh, your grandma. I don't know. This could be your stepmom, your mother. I don't know. This could be a karmic film. You know, the other, the other, the other woman, the creature. Uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse. Three of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Three, three. Ten of Cups. Damn. Five of Wands. The Moon reverse. You know what? This is not going to be for everybody. You know, take what resonates, leave what does not. This is not going to be for everybody. For some of you, this is a family situation. This is a family situation. That emperor over there that, you know, has to battle something out after telling all them damn lies, that's a father figure. 
you know, this queen of pentacles over here, this may very well be a mother figure or an auntie or something. You know what I'm saying? The, these people that collaborated behind your back, three of pentacles, they collaborated behind your back, right? Your whole family, you know, wanted to work behind your back, team up and collaborate behind your back. It got them the three of swords, heartbreak, emotional pain. Ten of cups. This is the family card. This literally talks about family or emotional fulfillment. Like I said, we're not talking about emotional fulfillment in here. Between three of swords and the five of wands, conflict, chaos, fights, tension. Yeah, we're not talking about emotional fulfillment between those two. This is family. Family work together. Maybe to cause you a three of swords. Cause you deep emotional pain. Maybe to have you in conflict. Now they're fighting. They're fighting with each other. They brought, they're going through emotional pain because of the bullshit they decided to do. The moon reverse, all of the secrets are coming out. Everything that was hidden, all the bullshit they did in the dark, it's all coming to light. It is all being revealed, all being exposed. So I say these people think they can do this diabolical shit. You think you can do this shit and it's just perfectly fine, right? You just go skip on about your life, right? No. No. Seven of Wands. This talks about somebody being protected. A lot of cases, this is you, collective. Divinely guided, divinely protected. Who they thought, what they thought. What were they smoking? Coming for you, child of God. The hell they thought. Seven of Wands. Uh, let me get here. Ten of Wands reverse. Period. You're protected and you're releasing all of the burden, all the bullshit burden that these people, these stupid people tried to put on you. You letting that go. Releasing that. Letting it go. Bye-bye. To the loop. The Knight of Wands. Reverse. The Two of Wands. Reverse. The Fool and the Ten. Oh, period. Pool. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Man, like I said, for a lot of for some of you, this is gonna be a family situation. Take what resonates, leave what does not. But um you're protected, divinely guided, divinely protected. You've been doing what you're supposed to do, beloved, in high priestess energy. You've been doing what you were supposed to do. All these people reverse, you, you in the upright. You've been doing what you're supposed to do. You are protected. Ten of Wands reverse. You know, you have released whatever burden, whatever stress these people tried to put on your back. You let that go. It's reverse. You know, these people were relentless in their attempts to, you know, burden, to burden you. You know, they were relentless. Did not want to give up. They made the wrong choice. They're the ones that didn't have a plan. They didn't have a strategy. They made the wrong choice. Beloved, not only are you divinely guided, divinely protected. Four, taking that new path. Going a different way. The fool. Taking a new path, walking by faith, not by sight, taking that leap of faith, trusting God, trusting what the divine is showing you. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. A windfall of abundance, generational wealth. That inheritance that your family was trying to steal and keep away from you. It's yours. It is yours, beloved. What they thought. What they, man, let me get y'all some oracle. Let me get y'all some oracle. Sometimes this shit just hit a little too close for home. And that's why I get in my pocket. Uh, Alright, I'm going to pull one from the I Ching. Let's see what we got. Alrighty. Mutual attraction. Lake above, mountain below. Mutual attraction. Somebody like you and you like them. All right, I'm going to pull from uh, the Archangel Fire Oracle as well. All right, we have Zuriel. Zuriel. All right. Okay. All right, from I Ching, we have Mutual Attraction. Mutual Attraction. All right. 
The attraction of opposites is a powerful and fundamental force, especially that of a mutual attraction in the beginning stages. In response to the magnetic attraction between two people, the masculine principle, the creative and outgoing, seizes the initiative, then submits to the feminine, the receptive and nourishing. When the assertive is able to defer to the receptive, and when the receptive is, accepts responsibility and exercises its quiet leadership, an electric and profitable union is the result. This brings good fortune, for all success depends upon the effects of mutual attraction in some form or another. Consistency is important in matters of mutual attraction, for this is what separates courtship from mere seduction. If you are an initiator by nature, it is good to make the first move, but you must remain sensitive and highly principled to avoid the temptation to be at all manipulative. Let the power of mutual attraction pull you along. If you are the receptive one, keep your mind innocent and free of pride so that you may remain open to good advice or helpful assistance. When your influence arises from innocence, a powerful magnetic force is at work for you. Either way, remaining open to the forces of attraction brings good fortune and closing yourself off to them shuts down the soul. Learn to yield to the tugs and pulls of the heart. Mutual attraction. Pretty much with that, you know, but I gather uh, they're saying, you know, don't try not to be, you know, overly controlling of these situations, these connections you have coming in or a connection that you may be involved in, you know, kind of let your heart lead, lead the way. Don't try to manipulate. Don't try to control. You know, just go with the flow. Let your emotions lead sometimes. Mutual attraction. Like I say, you know, you like somebody, they might like you too. Um, all right, from uh, Archangel Fire Oracle, we have Zuriel. Zuriel. Okay. Diplomacy and fa fair play. Beloved Zuriel is known as God is known as, okay, hold on. Beloved Zuriel is known as God is my rock and the angel of repentance. Like the female Sufi whirling dervish, dervish on her oracle card, she is the regulator of opposing forces and governs the rotation of heavenly bodies, keeping Mother Earth in sync with our solar system and universe. Zuriel stands for harmony and peace. As the celestial rock, she helps keep you rooted to the spot when you need to make a stand for what's right. She is a formidable ally to have around when you are facing a conflict, especially when facing injustice coming from the opposition as she literally cannot be budged. Zuriel acts as your inner backstop, preventing you from backing down in the face of unfairness. Also the angel of vitality and fertility, Zuriel balances our hormones, brain chemicals, and other bodily systems, restoring our equilibrium and exuberance. She improves our mental health, eases stress, and can thankfully reveal when we are acting foolishly. The angel of the zodiac sign of Libra, she is all about tact, diplomacy, and meditation. Similar to Zoked Hosi, she blesses our social life and brings good relations and a strong sense of fair play to partnerships, friendships, communities, and groups. Zuriel can help us to forgive and release any hurt or upset after we have suffered a disappointment. As an angel of evolution, justice, and salvation, she rapidly restores harmony, brings foresight, and can be called upon for prophecy, offering clear guidance on our next steps. Um... The most powerful angel of the principalities, who are the angels who govern groups, communities, and institutions, including entire nations, Zuriel watches over the innocent and vulnerable. She protects newborn babies and infants, welcoming them into the world. Uh, the message here is, call on me to bring harmony, diplomacy, and fair play to all your interactions. I will restore your equilibrium. Zuriel, BB, diplomacy and fair play. That was a good one. Very fitting. Very, very appropriate. Um, I'm going to close this reading here. I'm going to close this reading here. I hope this helps. I hope there was some, uh, you know, some clarity, maybe some confirmation. Um, I really did get a pull on, you know, this message seems kind of specific. You know, and it did resonate for me as well. Like I say, when it comes to this whole family situation and, you know, if it fits, it fits. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Don't force it to fit, fam. Um, and remember to apply the roles where they fit. You know, he can be a she, she can be a he. 
you know, et cetera, et cetera. But um, just stay, you know, stay focused on your true north. You're going the right way. You are going the right way, baby. Priestess, high priestess, empress energy in the upright. You strong as can be. Strength. You know, waiting on your ships to sail in. You are divinely guided, divinely protected, baby. You're going to get victory. Six of wands in the upright. You are divinely guided, divinely protected. Seven of wands in the upright. You know, this was, uh, overall, it's a good reading. You know, I hate the, or I don't hate, but I don't like the treacherous energy that surrounds, you know, that surrounds a lot of y'all. But, you know, overall, this was a good reading. It's a good reading for you. Um, but yeah, I hope it helps. I hope there's some confirmation, some clarity. If nothing else, thank you so much for joining me. I love you guys so much. Um, as always, I'm Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.